What do you want? Guess what? No. What do you mean no? I don't want to play a guessing game. If you're going to tell me something stupid, just tell me. You don't know it's going to be stupid. Wait for it. Can you please guess? It'll be fun. Look, I'll give you a hint. It's something I bought and it's really cool. <sighs> I don't know. It's probably something stupid like a new car. It's right behind me, isn't it? No, no, it's not. It's not right behind you. It's a bit to the right. Told you. But you don't know the story behind it. This shouldn't be a story. You bought a tuna can with a motor. That's it. You see, I was passing by a car dealership when I saw a beautiful piece of technology that I had to have. And since we're best friends... We're not best friends. Since we're best friends, I thought I'd show you first. Let me give you the tour. The seats are so soft, it feels like you're getting a full body massage from Chewbacca when you're in them. It's got red paint on it which means it's twice as fast as other cars. The handling is so tight, if you stick a piece of coal in the brakes, oh, you'll get a diamond. And if you thought it couldn't get any better, wait until you hear the horn. So, what do you think? It has to be the dumbest mode of transport I have ever seen. I heard the horn the first time, it's still dumb. Are you kidding me? Quick question, how much did you pay for this? I don't want to go into specifics. Let's just say I had to remortgage my house. You don't own a house. Well, I remortgaged a house. Why do you even need a car? Where do you go? I can go anywhere I want now. And where will you go? I don't know. You have to return this thing and get your money back. You can't afford to have it. I can't afford not to have it. That's what the car dealer told me. And car dealers don't just lie. They're some of the most trustworthy people in the world. Like snake oil salesmen. And my dad. Mike, you don't need this car. I could walk faster than this. Oh, is that a challenge? No, I was just saying. A challenge it is. A race from here to the edge of town. Fine. If I win, you take the car back to the dealership. And if I win, you are ugly. You want to take a couple more seconds to come up with something better nope. than that? I'll count it down. You can count. Why? Do you need tips? Ha <laughs> ha. Count it down. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Yeah! Is never gonna catch me. Whoa! What the? Hey! Why is there an elephant in the middle of the road? Who says this? Excuse me, I'm in a race right now and you're in my way, so could you please move out of the road? That elephant doesn't respect you, Mike. That's okay. In nature, the dominant animal is determined by who is the loudest. That's what the horn is for. No, it's not a mating call. I'm saying move it! Wait a second. I kind of understood that. What did you say about my horn? Oh, now you're gonna get it. I didn't want to have to do this, but you asked for it! Are you mad? Did I forget my shield? I should probably go back and check. Ah! How is he so fast? Of course, gotta people have more momentum behind them. I've got it. If I lead him towards the city and I zigzag myself through the alleyways, then he'll have to- Oh no, Cliff. Ah! Oh wait, my shield was on my arm the whole time. That's embarrassing. <laughs> I think I lost him. Excuse me, sir. Do you need a lift to wherever you're going? Oh, no thanks. I'm in no rush. What a creep. I have no idea how I got here. I am completely lost. Hey, do you know where we are? Oh, don't take that tone with me. This is your fault. I said we should have gone left. But you said, oh, we should go right. You could trust me. Elephants always tell the truth. 
It doesn't matter if you were telling the truth if you didn't know where you were going! We are in the middle of the desert, Dumbo! <sighs> and now we wait. Yes! I'm back on track! I'm gonna win! Uh, what do you want? Ooh. Well, I am a bit hungry. No, it doesn't look like they sell peanuts. But I bet they work for them. Haha! <laughs> no, it's just a saying. They're not actual peanuts. And I don't have any money to pay for this either. I'll just give them the car. I'm pretty sure it's wrecked anyway. What did you say your name was again? I'm Mike Wazowski. And I win! Oh. No, you don't. And who's your friend? His name is David. Anyway, I win. Time to get rid of the car. That's fine. I don't need it anymore. Because I made a new friend today. And you're not worried that he wants to hang out with you because he thinks you're a peanut? No, it's because we have a lot in common. We both roll very easily. We both have trouble with doors for different reasons. And we both have ivory protrusions coming out of our faces. So you're going to ride the elephant from now on. His name is David. And yes, I am. That is dumber than the dumb car. Yes, it may be dumb. But David can do one thing my old car never could. David, mush! Wait, what? What does mush mean? <laughs> yeah! Now it looks like a peanut! Come on, David. We're out of here. So David, what were you up to when I found you? You'd just broken out of a zoo? Tell me all about it. You are on your way back to the zoo to break all of the other animals out? That sounds awesome! I want to help! <laughs> oh, David. <laughs>